Do you like bananas? I love bananas. They're sweet, soft, and creamy. You can eat them by themselves, put them on top of yogurt, a sundae. Oh man, give me a sundae. Smoothies, banana bread, the options are endless. But bananas, at least what you're going to learn about in this video. Aren't these sweet, innocent, slightly firm, delectable treats that they allude themselves to be? No, there's a much darker, devious, and scary background to bananas, and I am going to tell you why. But first, you have to click that like button. And even better, subscribe. Now let's get into it. So did I get you with a little bit of clickbait? Yes. Yes, I did. But it's for the greater good, I promise. People don't like to hear bad news, which I get. Every day seems to bring us more and more bad news. Well, after learning that the anti-inflation czar, Alfred Kahn, during the Carter administration, started referring to recession as bananas because people were mad at him for using those mean, dirty, scary words, I have decided to take up the mantle. I am here to warn you of our impending banana. Now, this is not the first time that I've spoken about the banana on this channel. Granted, this is the first time that I'm referring to it as a banana, but the evidence is there. We are most likely in a banana right now, and we are heading towards an even more turbulent and unforeseeable banana, the likes of which we have really never seen before. This banana could be larger than what was experienced in the 30s and possibly in 2008. There's a lot of reasons to be worried about a banana, and here's why. The SVB collapse on March 10th, the signature bank fail on March 12th, First Republic Bank requiring a $30 billion cash injection from other banks on March 16th, and Credit Suisse being sold to its biggest rival on March 19th. All of this is spelling out the fears of a worsening banana on the horizon. Making matters more concerning for the possibility of an impending banana is the mortgage industry. Both commercial and residential mortgages are getting more expensive, and banks are getting less and less inclined to loan, which is not a good sign either. When banks scale back loans, it means that businesses and companies that normally use those loans to expand and innovate will no longer have the capability, which means that profit creation for those companies is going to slow. And that means more layoffs. Another thing that I have talked about a lot here, all of these things are going to increase and cause the situation that we are starting to see. And all of this can be seen when we look at the job growth in March of this year, 2023, which was actually the weakest monthly jobs gain in the post-pandemic period. And when we look at inflation or costs of an actual banana and things like eggs, ooh, that's the awesome beginning of a banana bread recipe. <laughs> Am I right? Anyways, we are currently at the highest level in 40 years when it comes to our consumer price index. And there's a lot of factors to this, from COVID, supply chain strains, the Ukraine war, etc. The reasons are there, but that doesn't change the fact that bananas, the actual real bananas, are going to keep increasing in cost until something is done. There's a lot of signs pointing to a banana right now. And there are some people among the Biden administration, especially those that are continuing to act like the impending banana we are about to face is not going to happen. But they are banking on the continued growth of the banana, I mean, economy, which they are looking at in very specific parameters. I mean, they have even changed the definition of a reset. Wait, I mean a banana, <laughs> a banana, just to suit them for right now. And I guarantee you that when Republicans retake the White House, all of these Democrats that have been acting like the economy is great, 
everything is fine and that a banana is not going to happen are going to be shouting from the rooftops and act like this is all the doing of Republicans. I mean, <laughs> it's what they do. Honestly, I don't know what to say anymore as a lot of you have likely clicked away at this point because I played a game with your heartstrings, which I'm a little sad about. But honestly, this is the state of things right now. I'm using a banana prop to explain our economic situation. I'm the one feeling more like a dork for sure. <laughs> if you want to learn more about the serious aspects of all that has been discussed here, check out the links in the description box below. To all that have stuck around this long, aren't you glad I educated you about our financial banana? <laughs> oh, come on, you know you like it. Now show me, hit that like button. Thanks for watching, loves. I hope this video was appealing. <laughs> yeah, it's silly and different from my other stuff, but sometimes you just gotta give the people what they didn't realize they needed. A laugh while we watch the world go crazy. <laughs> Thanks for sticking around if you did. Stay safe, take care, and be kind to each other. <laughs>